folks, so I have a project in progress and I thought I could turn this into a video and just share it with you. Um, I'm on top of my uh, bathroom. It's a flat roof thing and uh, I have a problem here. You can see um, I have a pile of uh, just broken roof slats and uh, or slates or whatever. Um, and uh, I just need to first remove those. So I've taken the ones that are broken. There's a few more here, but essentially uh, this is a bigger job than I thought it would be. Let me switch this around. There you go. So um, this is what I need to replace here, this section at least. I've had, essentially, I've had leaks inside the house in the worst possible place. Um, if you look here, you can see these electric cables that are going uh, into the wall. And these actually go into one of the sockets uh, that powers the bathroom I'm standing on. And water has been seeping in. Uh, from somewhere here. I tried to patch it as best as I could with some of that uh, Foil there, but it hasn't quite done the trick especially when the wind is coming for a certain direction to compound the issue I have uh, this piece here, which is uh, Broken so I need to uh, do some cement, but I need first to have access to uh, underneath here to see where the damage goes I do have um, Some rotted wood here that I need to replace so I need to remove those tiles safely first. And the problem is, as you can see, uh, you can't just pull the tiles. There's two nails that are underneath here, here, probably two more here on top. And there's one at the bottom, one of those uh, copper rivets. And to, re to remove those, you actually need to break the, uh, you need a, a ripper tool that slides underneath. It's a flat piece of metal that hooks onto the, onto the uh, nail from underneath here and then you hammer it out to break the nail and pull those out safely without breaking them. I don't have one of those, so uh, I need to make one. And for that, I have this piece of metal. This is actually a piece of metal from an old trailer, or an old caravan. And I broke the trailer and saved a lot of the metal in my uh, handy pile. So I'm just gonna cut out just a, a long, thin piece of metal, straight piece of metal and then see if I can just shape the top uh, maybe solder something onto it. It looks like it's galvanized. I'm not sure if that's feasible. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but I need, a, I need something now and fast. Right, so I got my piece of metal cut out. Uh, la uh, next thing I need to do is cut out the uh, head on it. So what's actually gonna go underneath and hook on the nail from underneath. And it's this sort of phallic looking type of yoke. Um, so essentially I'm just gonna need to cut out here, here, and this bit here. And uh, essentially when you, when, you, when you slide it underneath, you hook the nails on these guys. Um, I think that's the theory anyway. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work, if I can make this sharp enough. Uh, the nails are those very flexible, sort of weak metal made of uh, like a lead alloy or something like whatever it is. Um, so hopefully, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it will work. So I need to do that and have a handle at the back that I can hammer on. So I might just need to fold that. Uh, see if the size of the slate as well is, uh, is, uh, is enough. And uh, well, some sort of handle or even uh, just a piece of metal sticking out that'll uh, take the hammering just to uh, to pull that uh, nail out. So let's cut this first. All right, so this is the shape I got. I know it's, it's it. Is it me? It's super phallic, isn't it? Uh, you need that little, little uh, kind of thing at the end as well, just to push the uh, the nail in sometimes. And uh, I've just sharpened this slightly. I'll see. I will see if it works. Um, it's not perfect. I don't need it to be perfect. I need it to be practical and uh, now. I need it now. So uh, it's a bit too long. Uh, these are the slates I'm using. Uh, they come to about here. I'm just going to use... Actually, let me check this. Yeah, this is part of the, uh, the maximum uh, I need to get to. So if I, if I make my handle start here, so I'll just bend it slightly and then I'm going to weld a piece of metal here, something that will take the uh, hammering that I can weld to the angle and to this 
and I have something I found in the garden years ago but this weight that I'm uh, uh, I'm just gonna cut in I'm gonna cut here and in half that way I can uh, weld it flat on both surfaces okay let's keep going To bend on this idea and uh, just use that angle. That might just work on its own like that. It's not even a guarantee that this will work, but uh, yeah, we'll make do with that to get the welding and uh, see if we can get this to work. Right, let's change and get back in the game. Right, it's working more or less. I've removed a couple of these tiles. I have one here to remove, one here, one extra here, and I think we're done with the broken ones. Might need to remove this one, but essentially you just, you slide this underneath, so this, this tile would extend to about here. You slide this underneath and you hook onto the nail here. And then you pull. All right, it worked. Uh, that handle is not the best for hammering, but it's staying somewhat in place. And this is what uh, this looks like. Uh, it, it's tidier and this huge chunk of uh, wall literally just fell. And here's the damage. Uh, I had some rot here on this wood. Now that's non-structural. So I might just pull a couple more and see where it goes and just cut it there somewhere and just put a, an extra piece when I'm... Uh, when I'm going over this again. Oh, look at that, it's, it's not good. This is not good, my poor roof. A um, bit more worrying was this here, but it's actually just stopped here. So I'm just gonna put some wood uh, protector. This is one of the supporting, well, beams. Uh, so don't want that to break. I'll see if I can just patch it, maybe add a piece of wood underneath. I'll have to crawl from the other side. There's a lot of spider stuff there. I don't want to put my hands too much in it. And then, uh, first, there's going to be uh, just patching that wall, like a big load of uh, cement. Put a cast somehow, I'm not sure how, and uh, and patch this guy. And then we can worry about replacing the tiles. But at least I was able to remove all the broken stuff without breaking any more of them. Uh, I'd broken one good tile, so that wasn't good. I'm gonna see if I can remove these guys. <laughs> any more here? No, we're good. Uh, wow, the nail's still there. It's still there. I still got stuff. Um, anyway, let's keep working. And then I have all this to do, but... I'm not too worried about that. I didn't have a leak there. Um, it doesn't look great, but it's actually, <laughs> it works, but I will need to attend that. But first, this is the urgent part. Anybody knows how to get rid of crows? Right, so I got the area cleaned here. Uh, I wetted it with some uh, water and PVA glue just to uh, help it bind a bit. Uh, and I'm gonna use some just uh, really, really coarse sand uh, to fill that. Uh, some might leak out here. I'm gonna make, try and make this tighter a tiny bit. I think I've clamps, but all no, it's actually just flush here. Not much I can do. I'd have to recut as big as it. Oh, whoa. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. Oh no, that's me pushing against it. But um, you get the idea. I'm just gonna wedge everything and start making cement and pouring. And uh, I want cement to uh, replicate here, so it needs to come to about here. Oh, I need to treat this as well. 
All right, so cement is uh, poured. Gonna wait for it to uh, dry now. Uh, at least, well, at least overnight, obviously, but, uh, well, can I remove this in time? So tomorrow, this is what, six o'clock now here on a Friday. Tomorrow I'm gonna redo this wood here and maybe put the first tiles down. Uh, let's see, I might just see if I can seal even the, uh, that uh, cable going in. Uh, sorry, can you see I have cement going over it, but uh, use some silicone sealant or something like that. I'm gonna put a, uh, what will I do, what will I do? I think I can actually just uh, start with the bottom one. So I'm going to replace this wood. I've this is still okay. Uh, I will cut this here, so I can overlap a piece of wood. Still, still, I'll probably cut this here. That way, no wait. No, I need to cut it at least here. So one is one slate slate is hanging is uh, nailed to this one. The other one to this one, and then. I'll have another piece, this is two pieces, so I'll have a piece underneath, which is going over um, all the way. I'll put the first tiles and then uh, I'll patch the cement here so nothing comes from under, like uh, by capillarity, and then fix all this cement tomorrow. And I think hopefully by Sunday, I'll be able to uh, retile this section. Uh, it's a bit of a crisis. So this has come in really handy. This uh, homemade uh, tile puller, um, and the reason I couldn't find one in the shop, I know that, that <laughs> it's just, it looks wrong, doesn't it? But this is the uh, the shape they have. So the reason I couldn't, uh, well, I couldn't find one in the shop. They didn't have one, and it's the only hardware store that's open in these times. If you're watching this in the future, 2020 wasn't the, the best start of the year, and. Uh, both shops are closed right now and uh, the shop that is open near me didn't have one i went to a few of my neighbors nobody had one i rang a few guys to help me uh, to roof this you know and i was going to pay them nobody got back to me so i had to do it myself and i had to do it quick and this actually worked really well to pull those nails and those tiles without breaking the rest of them so there you go um yeah let's wait until uh, this dries let's wait till tomorrow all right, so I have uh, just removed the cast, the concrete. Uh, it's still a bit wet, but I mean, it's it's just gonna dry slowly. Anyway, it's gonna dry over a few days. Uh, started cutting tiles to size for the bottom layer. So you work from the bottom up uh, and make sure these are in place. I still need to make a small ledge here. So I have a little batch of cement here that uh, I'm gonna make a ledge here just to prevent stuff from uh, seeping in through here. Um, but then I should be uh, okay to start tiling properly. So I'll start with all this first. And then there's another layer here that goes in between. I'll cover this. So I'll need, uh, well, I need three more here. One, two, uh, three, four. I'll, ha I'll have just about enough <laughs> tiles uh, to cover this. And then I'll have all this to do, but this is not as urgent as this section was, obviously. Um, Regardless, let's keep uh, let's keep moving. All right, folks. Uh, so I think I'm done here on this section. Um, it was a, a lot easier actually than uh, pulling them out. It's funny I decided to keep this one, but essentially uh, it just had exactly the right number of tiles for this patch here. So maybe I'll change this one in time, but um, I don't know. I think it's fine as it is, um, and. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm glad I did that. It was just such a mess of broken tiles. So I still have this section here to do. I need more tiles, but I'm, I'm not getting, you know, I don't have any leak here. It doesn't look great, but it's actually patched well. Um, I think what I was getting, there's a bit of flashing tape here because I'm masking the uh, cement on the other side. Um, I think, I think essentially the, um, the, the water was probably coming from somewhere here. Uh, I still have some uh, patching cement to do, but uh, I've patched this corner uh, so that no wood is exposed like it was. I'll do a proper sort of uh, angle, kind of line there, and then uh, I'll put a new gutter, but I'll put a piece of wood here just to protect that uh, first. 
and runs all the way and then put a piece of wood and then put my gutter down um, I'll get one of those round gutters as opposed to uh, these old things uh, probably need to change this at some point but um, before I can do that obviously I'll need I need to change all these as well uh, it's not as critical a job and I'm not expecting it to be as a as uh, tough as this one, especially pulling details. Um, having that tool is, is essential. It really is. Uh, so I'm glad I made one. I'll probably just order a proper one because uh, this is not ideal. It was good for the emergency, but it's it's already you know blunt and and uh, showing signs of uh, distress. So, um, but short term it was very handy because I was stuck. Otherwise, I'm not not stuck for these. So I'll probably do these separately. Uh, I'll, I'll see. I think, as far as this uh, this project is, maybe maybe we'll we'll finish it here. I, I'm not sure. I don't know. And this video has probably gone uh, for long enough. I don't think the end here will be super interesting. But there you go, folks. Uh, that's <laughs> emergency video of an emergency roof uh, roof repair. And hopefully it doesn't leak anymore. Uh, I suppose we'll find that in the next proper big rain. It's gonna be interesting. I, I pray that it doesn't leak and seep into the uh, electrics. Anyway, folks, uh, I hope this was of some interest. Thank you for watching. Um, I just need to clean all my mess here. But um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Shut up, crows. <laughs>